Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, we've got fog, finally. <laughs> yeah, I came out yesterday morning because uh, the, the forecast said we we're going to get a lot of fog and it was just misty. So they got it a bit wrong, but they've got it bang on today. Look at it, it's lovely and thick and it's, it seems to be staying as well. I've been in this enclosure for about an hour now, wandering about, trying to separate all these trees. We've got a mixture in this little enclosure we've got a mixture of beech and oak i've had this earmarked for a foggy morning for quite some time so i shot straight here and uh, just shows that scouting about does work obviously this is no good for a normal a normal sort of flat day but it's great for the fog well i say great i've been wandering around for about an hour trying to separate all the trees and it is such a challenge it's a good challenge but it's it's a re really hard challenge to get all the trees separated within your frame within your composition and it is nearly nigh impossible in here because you'll get four or five trees that are all separated and then you'll get one that just bends bends around the back or the front of another tree so i think i've got a frame but uh, it's been a real good challenge actually my first first time this year for the for the fog so uh, yeah it's been great i've put the hood on because there's a lot of drips coming from the branches so the hood's gone on just to save any drips going on the front of the element there Obviously on the 70 to 200, 5D Mark IV. Now I've I've kept the aperture at f5.6, just so that I've got four or five trees that are sort of in focus, nice and sharp. But I've still got I've still got a bit of depth falling off, you know, so that so that it adds to the fog. I've shot slightly overexposed, so the trick behind that is back in post. I'll just bring the exposure down a bit, and it just does just give you a bit of extra depth for the fog and the mist so you know really to to, em, to enhance that atmosphere yes i'm at f5.6 i'm at iso 100 and i'm at 25th of a second which is not a but not a bad shutter speed really so uh, yeah i think i've got a frame now i know there's another enclosure a bit further down the road a couple of miles down the road and i think those trees are more uniform you know they've all been planted in lines so i'm going to head there next Hopefully this, I don't think this fog's going anywhere for, for two or three hours, hopefully. Certainly, obviously, well past sunrise now and uh, it's not disappeared at all. There's a little bit of draft, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to head down the road now and go to the other plantation and see if we can get a nice uniform frame. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll go through the frames and hopefully, I've got, I'm sure I've got one or two nice ones from here. I'll pop it up now. So I just thought I'd have a bit of an experiment with this frame and, and take the tones right down, take the warmth away and make it look quite cold, just like it's been taken at blue hour, just as the sun's rose, before the lights properly hit the woodland. And again, with this second composition, well, incidentally, not overly happy with this, because as you can see, the second and third trees on the right there are crossing over the trees behind them, so separation-wise, it doesn't work great. But I just thought I'd leave this one quite cool looking as well. I think it really does emphasise that fog and the light shining through the trees. It gives it a nice ethereal wintry look. But uh, I'd be really interested to see what you guys think. Whether you prefer the warmer, more natural toned frame or the colder looking one. Well, it just goes to show, I was literally five minutes back to the van, five minutes down to this plantation, and the fog's lifted. That breeze that I was on about's actually got a bit stronger, and it's obviously, it's obviously clearing the fog now. But not only that, I've not been to this enclosure this close before. I've only seen it from the road. You can probably hear the road, the A35's only, I don't know, 800 yards that way. And I always look over here, and I always think, oh, that'll be really nice on a foggy day. But now I've got here, it's actually quite dense, it's actually quite a, a thick plantation and uh, finding some gaps in that <laughs> on a normal day would be uh, a bit more, more difficult than I thought. So uh, never mind, not to worry, it just goes to show that scouting is quite important and I should have actually come here on a normal day on my way home perhaps stopped. But anyway, 
So <laughs> plan B, I've not actually been in the main forest here yet, so I'm going to turn this into a bit of a scouting mission now and uh, go and see if we can find some nice gnarly oaks or some another small plantation. But uh, yeah, most of the fog's definitely gone now, so and this is far too thick to have a go at. So uh, let's head into the forest and see what we can find. Well, quite a valuable lesson learned here. I definitely should have stayed in the plantation. And I mean, I had the forest right next to that plantation. I should have walked into there and I perhaps could have found a composition or two in the fog. And who knows, it might not have even lifted where I was, but instead I, I wasted that time and traveled elsewhere and I left that fog behind, if you like. So definitely learned my lesson. And uh, next time I'm in fog, I'll stay in it. Well, I've come across a lovely gnarly looking oak. It's got so many twisted branches leading off in all sorts of different directions. Bit of a mess really, but it's got some nice green moss on it and it's still got its leaves on. Now, obviously they're all dead leaves, really brown. There's hardly any green leaves left now. And it's surrounded by two or three other oaks that have also got all their leaves. And I've got some encroaching branches from the other oaks and it's forming quite a nice vignette of brown leaf. And then obviously leads you right to the oak that's <laughs> lovely and gnarly and it's got all sorts of branches in all sorts of directions and behind the oak it's a bit lighter there's still a little bit of that fog left well more misty misty sort of scene really and it's quite light behind the oak so it's we've got some light bouncing off off the branches in various different angles and that and it just caught my eye and it's sort of carrying on that moodiness that I was talking about in the last video and the fact that uh, the forest is losing most of its colour now and it, there's, there's, there's plenty of moody scenes about to be captured so and I think this is one of them. I say it might not be to everyone's taste but um, perhaps with a little bit of post-production, not too much, just to enhance the browns in, in golden colours and copper colours in them leaves and try and bring out a little bit of the, the moss that's on the oak and then perhaps lighten up the tones that's in the backdrop should hopefully make a nice frame. Now settings wise I'm on f6.3 I still wanted a bit of depth but not too much obviously I want to I want the frame to drop off away from me in the backdrop we have got one light coloured I think it's a, an oak right and in the far distance at the, at the start of the because we're right on the edge of the forest here so but hopefully that should drop off nicely We've got a little bit of dead trees and brash and bushes underneath the frame, just in the bottom right, but, but that's part of the scene. So, uh, yeah, so I'm at f6.3, I'm at 30th of a second, ISO 100, and uh, I say there's still a little bit of mist about, so there's, there's still a bit of mood and atmosphere about, but hopefully you'll like it, guys. I say it might not be to everyone's cup of tea, everyone's taste, but um, I'll pop it up now, guys, and I hope you like it. I 
you can see, I ended up shooting wide open at an aperture of f2.8 here, just to give me that extra shallow depth of field to really draw your eye into the oak tree itself and soften everything else up around it. You also get quite a nice natural vignette at f2.8, so it just darkens off the edges of the frame. So yeah, quite happy with this one. Well, I think I'm going to call that a morning now. A couple of nice frames there. Shame the fog disappeared a lot quicker than I'd expected, but uh, never mind. Got one nice frame, hopefully. You'll have seen it by now anyway. Perhaps one or two nice frames, but it was so difficult to separate them trees. But uh, anyway, hopefully you've seen some nice frames. And then that second one there, again, bit of a moody one, sort of mood that I'm after. So not everyone's cup of tea, but uh, hopefully you thought that was all right, guys, and you could see where I was coming from, trying to capture some mood anyway. So yeah, jobs are good and homeward bound now. I've actually got a bit of admin work to do and get get some kit ready. I'm doing, um, I've got a bit of a uh, couple of days of videography work in a local school, filming their carol concert, because obviously the, the families and the parents can't go into school with lockdown at the moment. So, so that'll be nice, get the kit ready for that for the next couple of days. And yeah, that'll be the week gone then, so uh, yeah, jobs are good and if you could remember to hit the like button guys, that'd be much appreciated, best way to help out the channel, let YouTube know that you all enjoy the video and the content and uh, that'll be great, and uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you, if you want to subscribe and see more of the same content, that'd be much appreciated too. So yeah, lovely morning, nice to get a bit of fog, and uh, time to head home now and get some lunch and a coffee. Thanks ever so much for watching guys, take care, catch up soon. Oh.